today we play Super Mario Odyssey, but I've added custom Goombas with their own unique abilities. Mario starts off in the Cascade Kingdom, and there's a new area here with a lot of grass blocks over here, and some brand new green Goombas. So Mario's curious about what these green Goombas might do, so Mario's exploring around here, taking a look at these green Goombas here. And as Mario makes his way around, he notices that there are a bunch of danger signs around here, so he's starting to wonder. What could be so dangerous around here? And what could be behind this very large green wall over here? Mario has to go explore what that is. So it looks like there's a little tiny gap down here, but there's no way that Mario could squeeze under there. It is just too tight of a fit for Mario. And it also looks like it is too tight for the Goombas, but these green Goombas have a special ability. The special ability of these green Goombas is that they can squeeze through green blocks like this. So even though this gap looks like it's too small for the Goomba, the Goomba can squeeze under here. And when we go through, what we see is a new area with lots of lava and new Goomba guards. What's a going on, Goomba? We are the Goomba guards, and we will not let you proceed any further. Why are you just uh, standing there? We didn't think anybody would make it past the green Goomba's impenetrable wall. I'm uh, going to throw Cappy at you. Take uh, this, Goomba. Ha 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 ha! You fell for our trap! This Cappy belongs to us now! Give me back my uh, Cappy! Yeah! Wah! Yahoo! Let's go! Now, where is Mario going to go next? Because there's a lot of lava down there, but there's a P switch right here. So let's head on over to this P switch, and that makes a bunch of red Goombas spawn down here. And the special ability of these red Goombas is that they can safely walk on the lava without being hurt. And the lava does damage Mario if he isn't a red Goomba like this. Mario sees a safe platform down there to drop down on, so he makes his way over to here, lands here, and catches a Goomba. There we go. And there's also a Goomba switch that we are going to want to step on here, but it looks like we need five Goombas in our Goomba staff. So let's try and get some more Goombas. And let's go. There we go. All right, we collected a lot of Goombas. And you know what? Let's take an extra one. Just have it. You know what? An extra two. Sure, all the Goombas can come along with us. Let's step on this switch here. And that makes these coins appear down here. So Mario follows the coin path, jumps down, taking this big scary jump down here. And there's a pipe waiting here for him. So Mario pops out of the captured red Goombas. They did great letting us walk on the lava, but it's now time to head into this pipe. So Mario pops out of the pipe here, and up ahead he sees some purple Goombas. And you might be wondering what these purple Goombas do. When they're defeated, they explode into poisonous goop. So you have to be really careful to not land in that, because it immediately defeats Mario if he steps into the poisonous goop. So we have got to make some careful jumps across here, because we do not want to squish any of these Goombas, because if we squish any of these Goombas, they explode into the poisonous purple goop and then they defeat Mario, but luckily for Mario, he makes it all the way across to the next pipe, and down the pipe he goes. And Mario pops out here with lots of gray, wiggly, wide Goombas. Look at the way that they are running towards us. They are going wild. These are some very, very wild Goombas. And there are also some upside down Goombas over here that are shaking back and forth like this, just shaking on the ground. Are they afraid of Mario? Are they running away from me? Is that what they are doing? They're like, no, no, please. I don't want to end up like the other Goombas. Please, no, anything but that. And when Mario collects all of the Goombas, it looks like a spring, the way that it bounces like this. So Mario gets out of there, squishes them all, gets lots of coins, and he's ready to go down the next pipe. When we pop out of this pipe, we end up on these Pikachu blocks, and we see a Goomba up there, not worried about what's happening down here in the world, just wondering about life, looking outwards. What could that Goomba be thinking? If a ship has all of its parts replaced over the years, and a new ship is completely remade out of the original parts, which is really the original ship? Mario has had enough thinking for one day, so he captures this Goomba and jumps into the middle here, getting ready to fall down, but... He doesn't fall down, so Mario thinks that there might be glass or something here. But the reason that this Goomba isn't falling is because it is actually an anti-gravity Goomba. So when Mario releases the Goomba, you can see that Mario actually falls through. And he lands at this maze over here. Some of you might recognize this maze from my Mario Odyssey escape room video, but there's something very, very different with this maze. Because what happens in this maze is very quickly, a rainbow Goomba starts charging at us and actually destroying the maze. So Mario tries to capture the Rainbow Goomba, and we got it. We are now the Rainbow Goomba. And I love how he wears his cap sideways like this. It's really cool. So this Rainbow Goomba can, of course, charge up 
Look at it building up its power like this. This looks like a very powerful Rainbow Goomba right now, which has the power of a charge and chuck. And instead of solving the maze, we are going to destroy the maze, destroying all the blocks of the maze. And what do you think about completing a puzzle or solving a maze like this? Destroying the maze probably isn't the first solution that comes to mind. But destroying the maze is exactly what Mario has to do because when all pieces of the maze are destroyed, that's when the next pipe appears. Yeah, wah, yahoo, let's -a go. So into the pipe we go, and that brings us to this area right over here. And you can see that there are invisible walls blocking all the way around here. But there isn't really anywhere that we could get, but there's a blue Goomba right here. And when Mario crushes this Goomba, the special ability is... Everything is turned into water around us, so we can swim on up like this, and we can reach the next level here. But again, invisible walls around us, but there's still one more Goomba, and when that blue Goomba gets squished, again, it all becomes water around us, and we can swim up here and make it to this pipe over here. So into this pipe we go. And we pop out over here where there is a white Goomba boss, and we've got a bunch of little yellow Goombas over here. And for every little yellow Goomba that gets defeated, there are coins that randomly spawn around here. And this white Goomba here, it has the same abilities as a chain jump, and we can even see the outline of a chain jump as it charges us like that. So let's try and capture this chain jump Goomba over here, and when we capture it, you can see that we are a very angry, angry looking Goomba. So if we want to wind up like this and release and break that, here's what happens. It just flings you way out to the side. That Goomba is way too powerful. So what we actually have to do with that Goomba is we have to lure it over to us. And there we go. It tries to hit us, but it reveals this pipe over here. So now we can head down this pipe. And that brings us to right over here. And there's a Goomba with a top hat like this. Instead of a Sherm, we've got a Goomba like this. Are you even going to shoot at us? What are you doing? Why are you just looking like that Goomba? So let's try and catch this Goomba. First, we knock off its hat, then we capture it, and instead of controlling a Sherm, we are now controlling a Goomba like this. And it looks like we want to blast through this wall, so let's try that. There we go, one nice shot blasted through the wall. And when we shoot a second time, for some reason, that way off in the distance explodes. And we pop out of the Goomba. This Goomba's a little dizzy. We can see that it has the cool Sherm textures. And this was hilarious. I loved this. If you ground pound on him, then this happened. You can see all the parts of the tank fly out, and they just keep flying out like that. It's like the tank is repeatedly releasing all of its parts like that. What is going on? Are you okay, Goomba? I am so sorry that I did this to you. And we can now continue across this way. And that Goomba over there looks like a UFO the way that it is floating around like that. So Mario jumps on over this way, gets its attention, and he captures it. And take a look at this nice Goomba that we have got over here. And what we can do with this Goomba is fly like this. And it looks like you're just walking like this. And it's also very funny that your hat is at the bottom like this. These two Goombas will forever be best friends. If you enjoyed this, I really recommend my video with custom warp boxes in Super Mario 3D World. I've got more ideas for custom Goombas also. Thank you so much for watching this far into the video. I hope you have an amazing day ahead of you. And take care, everybody.